This is my second devotional video that I'm producing for all of you in your moment of need of scripture for support in your life. This last Sunday I preached a Mother's Day sermon that featured scripture from 1 Peter chapter 2 verses 1 through 3. I'd like to share that scripture with you again this morning as a thought for us to start this week with or to continue it with. <clears throat> it is a thought about our need for safety and belonging, a thought about our need to be included, even a thought about our need to have our, our needs heard by others in this very difficult time of uh, the COVID-19 um, pandemic. So let me read the scripture. So get rid of all evil behavior, be done with all deceit, hypocrisy, jealousy, and all unkind speech. Like newborn babies, you must crave spiritual milk so that you will grow into a full experience of salvation. Cry out for this nourishment, now that you have had a taste of the Lord's goodness. The Word of God for the people of God. It is a powerful metaphor in this scripture after telling us to get rid of all evil behavior, saying to push that all aside, to turn away from a temptation to do something that is not beneficial to us, to be done with the things that are not beneficial to our relationships. It says, like newborn babies, crave spiritual milk so that you may grow into a full experience of salvation. Cry out for this nourishment. Cry out for it. I don't know about you, but I, I think of being a newborn baby as a little bit odd. You know, the metaphor of a baby nursing at a mother's breast is a little odd given our adult status and age and so forth. The, the image is, is almost striking and in a way a little hard to get into the sense of that because it's such an intimate image of a baby and its mother. A baby nursing. But it is so powerful in how it helps us understand our connection to God. It's a beautiful metaphor for helping us understand how God cares for us, how God mothers us. In this scripture, we are identifying the fact that God is both male and female, producing for us a supportive environment, love and care. And there is really nothing more intimate than that experience. We've all had different childhood experiences with our parents, our mothers, fathers. I know that some of the most important and deepest and special times that I had as a kid involve my mother and her love and support of me in my life. It's a good time to remember the love of those who mother you. Remember the love they had for you. Remember not just that it happened. Remember how it felt to you. Because we really need to feel loved. We need to feel adored. And in some cases, I think of the word beamed over. 
we need to remember when we were beamed over by someone else to realize the value we have in this world and to remember and recognize the value that we have to our Lord and Savior. We have infinite value by the Lord who beams over each one of us. You know, it's easy to get caught up in our busy lives, our responsibilities and our cares. And we know we must tend to to life and especially now it's much more complicated but to take a moment in your day and have a sense of that being loved one of the things I mentioned in the service on Sunday was <clears throat> that many of us are alone at home we don't have anybody to hug us and for you especially, this is a valuable, a valuable exercise in, in showing yourself the love that others have given you. So give yourself a hug. Put your arms around yourself. Show yourself the compassion that you need for this day. Just rub your shoulders even a little bit and just be in a feeling of being loved. It's incredible how much that can do in relieving our fear and anxiety and stress. To be loved. You are loved by God. You are valued by God. And as you take this in, also remember that there are people that you need to remind about God and how God loves and mothers them. Maybe even through you in the way you show love and support to that individual. So it's a thought for the day is a very intimate one about mothering, nursing, a nursing baby, and how that is the connection that God wants to have with us, the deepest, most intimate connection, togetherness. It is a connection of being the adored child, being loved, received, and accepted, and cared for in every way. Receive this message this, this day for your lives and your hearts. In Jesus' name, amen.